Hi, here is Peter with a new Knobman tutorial. Today we're going to make two sliders, a low pass and a high pass filter slider. Let's first go to preferences. The final sliders will have a dimension of 64 pixels in width and 32 pixels in height. So I'll change it here. But for this tutorial I'll make it a little bit bigger, so I will make 192 and 96. And at the end we can scale it down. We set the render frames, we leave it at 31, and in the end we will make it 128. The background color, I will make my background color, which I usually take for my projects, this dark blue. Okay, so we have set the preferences. We'll make an update. So now it's bigger. Then we first go to layer three. There we will make the frame. So we go to rectangle. Then we take this gray color and we zoom in a little bit, uh, separate X and Y. And the X value is 88 in this case. So we'll make it a little bit, uh, the width a little bit smaller. So this is the frame. And now we're going to make those uh, low pass and high pass filter uh, curves. So first go to layer one. We choose shape and we take a different color, a little bit. We take the C9B, yeah, this one. I'll take for the color and we go to edit. So we're first going to make the high pass. So I'll start designing. So this, then this point, I'm going to make it a little bit rounder. Okay. So now we have this filter curve. We zoom in a little bit. So click separate X and Y and we change the, uh, the Y value to 90. Uh, like this. Okay. Then we have to apply a mask. So click first mask, then horizontal, and we have a start value of 83, minus 83, like this, and a stop value of 83. Okay, like this. Then we have to animate the uh, the X offset. So we start with, this is the high pass filter. So it's zero going. So you have to click here to make an animation. And we make 80 here. And you see how the animation will work. We can have a test. See, this is the slider. So we go back to preview. So this is the the high pass filter. Now we have to make the low pass filter. So we go to layer two. We do the same thing actually, but the shape will be the other way around. So we take the same color, 9B. Okay, then we edit. So now we have to go the other way around. So that's um, here. Like this. We make it a little bit rounder there. 
Okay, that's it. And we zoom in a little bit. So the I epsilon value will be 90. We set a mask, same thing. So on horizontal, the start value is um, minus 83. And the stop value is 83. So that's the same. And then we have to set the animation for the offset value. So this is x again, animate, and we go now to minus 80. I will uncheck the the whole high pass filter. So this is the low pass filter, as you see. We can have a test. Yep, and it works. So the only thing left is to export it. So first I will go to preferences and make the correct uh, dimension because this is a very large slider. So normally I will make 64 and 32. And I set the render frames to 128 because there are 128 values for the MIDI controller. Then let's test again. So that's working correctly. And now you can export it, export an image. And when you've exported the uh, low pass filter, then you check layer one. So that's the high pass filter and you export it again. So you have two sliders then. I will add the link to this file to the video description. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. See you next time.